Like the draft in the World Cup, Kansas City really putting itself on the map, right? And it's also hoping to be a green leader in the Midwest. Exactly. Meteorologist Cassie Wilson and I sat down with local leaders and to talk about Kansas City's climate plan. What I am genuinely worried about is once we get all these folks from all over the world to come to Kansas City and see our city, eat our food, meet our people, you're going to have you know, a lot of folks that won't want to move away. Coach Lasso said it best. Uh, it it's us. no secret. Kansas City is growing, but are we growing as a Midwestern green leader? We just opened the first airport in the Midwest that holds the LEED gold certification, and it looks like we're not stopping there. The city is reducing its greenhouse gas emissions and has pledged to be carbon neutral by 2040, all part of its climate protection and resiliency plan. That next generation that's looking for a place to live is looking at the really interesting and unique and innovative initiatives that we're doing to fight climate change as reasons why they're picking their city and the place they want to go. Energy efficiency, green tech, and climate action is not all that new to Kansas City. In 2008, Kansas City adopted the Climate Protection Plan, which set a goal to reduce greenhouse gas emissions 30% below 2000 levels by 2020. And that goal was met. So I asked Andy Savastino, the chief environmental officer, about the new goal. And with those goals, where are we? They're lofty, <laughs> carbon neutral by 2040. Right. Where are we? Are we on track? Well, we're at 24% right now. So we've got 20 years to get to carbon neutral. So it's a pretty heavy lift. A heavy lift partially because of Missouri's reliance on coal. According to the Energy Information Administration in 2021, coal provided 74% of Missouri's electricity net generation, the second highest share of any state behind only West Virginia. And as a state, Missouri uses nearly eight times more energy than it produces. So I asked what challenges the city faces in trying to wean off coal. Specifically, we are dealing with an effort to um, limit our ability to pass certain ordinances like our energy efficient building code. Um, and um, it's, it's, it makes it difficult because we are trying to do things that makes Kansas City a leader in energy efficiency and building code and climate protection. The councilwoman says despite those external forces, the city believes its future will be green. We're moving full steam ahead because this is an important issue. Uh, we think this is an ex existential crisis to not only the Midwest region, but the whole country. So what does moving full steam ahead look like? We recently enacted a policy to require all new city vehicles to be zero emissions battery electric. Our fire department right now is in the process of rolling out 46 uh, zero emissions battery electric vehicles that are replacing these old SUVs that were highly pollutant and just terrible for the environment. Uh, we're in the process also of building one of the largest solar arrays in the country. And I think that's how we as a community truly lead and tell someone who's looking for somewhere where their family can, I don't know, farm live comfortably, have a place where they're not worrying about rising energy costs and really almost survivability concerns long term. I think it's up to us to share what we're doing, and that's why this plan is so important for us. KSHB will be following along with this climate plan and keep you up to date with milestones and roadblocks. Reporting in Kansas City, I'm meteorologist Cassie Wilson, KSHB 41 Weather.